All right, I was driving home from Jay Peak when I realized this place existed. So we're gonna do what's called a little dessert hike in hiking circles. Let's take a little stroll up to uh, Artist Bluff, which is a cliff lookout overlooking Franconia Notch. And it's pretty straightforward, half a mile to the top. Don't need much. Anyway, up we go. We're already almost at Artist Bluff. See how quick that was? And the temperature is rising. So all the snow that's on the trees is gonna drip and melt, unfortunately, onto my backside. My goodness. Anyway, something interesting comes up, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll meet you at Artist Bluff. We reached a junction. Bald Mountain is that way, and the bluff. Is this way. Let's do it to it. Wow. Fall and winter at Dukey out here too. But then again, we are at a pretty low elevation compared to the J Peak we just hiked. Alright, the bluff should be coming up. I'll catch you over there. Alright, welcome to Artist Bluff. A cliff on the side of Ball Mountain overlooking the uh North end of Franconia Notch, looking southward. Over there is Cannon Mountain. Middersill Mountain, I believe, is over there. And of course, the granddaddy of the Franconia Range, Mont Lafayette. Over there are some mountains that are on some obscure peak bagging lists, like the New Hampshire 3000 and whatnot. Yep. I gotta say, this is one of the easiest half miles I've ever hiked. Did not even feel like it one bit. Over there is Echo Lake, popular swimming area in summer. So, considering it barely took us five, ten minutes to get up here, we're gonna go ahead and bag Ball Mountain and redline this mountain. And I'll meet you over at the uh, Ball Mountain Trail. All right, we're now going to Ball Mountain. I'd say it's like maybe three quarters of a mile away. Not not far at all. I think in the whole loop over Artist Bluff and Bald, the whole thing only has like 500 feet of gain, and we just gained like 250 going up to the bluff. So not bad. Not like JP. Anyway, up we go. Look at it, Jay. It's a baby wheel. In all seriousness, this is a huge titanic rock jutting out of the uh, mountainside. Nice. Huh, this is a nice little small mini ridge walk. Reminds you of a higher mountain. Now, the name of the mountain we're going to is called Bald Mountain, so I'm assuming it's going to be bald on top. Although, on the other hand, I've been to a few balds. Well, that wasn't the case. Just have to wait and see. Right, see that mound up ahead? That is our other main destination for the day. Bald Mountain. Then we're gonna loop back down to uh, Route 18. And the way I read it, we have a little bit of a road walk at the trailhead, but I heard about a loop trail. I saw a loop trail. Don't know where it loops to. I'll find out. I don't think I read it in my White Mountain Guide, which, on the other hand, is kind of old. This is 28th edition. Either way, we'll just take it as it comes We reached the trail junction. Alright, that's the way we want to go down. Ball Mountain is this way. Not terribly far, though. Nor with a lot of elevation gain. Let's do it to it. Soon nothing interesting happens, I'll meet you at the top of Ball Mountain. Alright. Scrambling. Kind of weird. I was trying to get videos and pics at the top of J Peak. My camera battery icon said it was almost dead freaking empty. Yet now, I've been able to uh, make and record these videos and pictures. 
Well, so much is a low battery blip. I guess it must have to do with the cold air and the battery drainage. Off to Google when I get home. All right. Looks like the final approach to the top. Nice. Unless this, even with a small mountain like this, is genuinely possible. That that light we're seeing up there marks a false summit. Whatever. Hike short enough that it doesn't really matter. We've done it again by George. Welcome to the summit of approximately 2,300 foot Bald Mountain, located in the northern Franconia Notch area of New Hampshire's White Mountains. So you pan around. Still incredible views, a little bit more better since we're in such a lofty position. Easy hike. Very scenic too, although the uh, melting snow coming off the trees, pelting my backside doesn't do fine. But what are you gonna do when you live in a shoe? Cannons front and center. Well, there's 93 through the notch proper. 93 heading toward Littleton in uh, St. Johnsbury, Vermont via I-91. Bald Mountain proper, and now we have an easy walk back to the trailhead via this loop link. <sighs> Bald Mountain Artist Bluff, it's a nice set of peaks and crags. Definitely make a good family hike, although not in conditions like this because it's a bit sketchy. Anyway, assuming nothing interesting comes up, I'll meet you back at the trailhead. All right, over there is a, one of the parking lots for the Cannon Mountain Ski Area, but we want to stay here on this path. It will uh, parallel the Ski Area parking lot as well as Route 18. I believe back to the Artist Bluff Trail, not far from the trailhead. All right, the car is right there. Normally I'd just whack down to the road, but if we do that, We'll miss a little link in this trail, the loop trail, that I'll have to go back for to consider it redlined. So, we're going to do it the long way and take this trail all the way through. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the car. Alright, we're back at the car. Overall, this is a pretty simple, short, straightforward hike, but with excellent rewards for relatively minimal effort. I'd say in season, AKA late summer, spring, early fall, be an excellent hike for families and those who are new to hiking, don't really hike, or are just looking to uh, get out for an hour or so. Round trip distance was about a mile and a half, I'd say 500 feet of gain if my calculations are correct. Took about a little less than an hour, maybe like 45 minutes. So from Franconia Notch State Park, and Ball Mountain Artist Bluff. See you on my next adventure. Mm -hmm.